I've been surfing all day and it's been amazing. I'm in this beautiful place, you know, it's so hot, it's beautiful, but I don't have my saxophone. So, what do you do when you're on holidays and you still want to make progress on your musical journey, but you don't have your saxophone? What do you do? My name is Martino and today I want to show you what you can practice when you don't have a saxophone. When I look back when I was around 15 or 16, I remember that I used to go on holidays with my family and I would take my saxophone with me, expecting me to practice for hours and hours even though I was on holidays. So every day I wanted to practice, I would find something more important than to actually open in the case. My brain was all lazy and I just didn't want to focus on music. And that was so terrible and so annoying, you know why? Because after my holidays, you know, I would go back and actually open the case because I had to practice for college and stuff like that. Then it would take me at least two weeks to go back in shape, to get my chops back, to get my sound, which by the way was completely shit, you know, because I hadn't touched the saxophone. So I had to regain everything again and to like open up my musical brain and make it work again. I have a really good friend of mine who's an amazing percussion player in London and he told me once that he had a teacher who was a player, a percussion player in the LSO, in the London Symphony Orchestra and he told me an amazing story that it stayed with me ever since. And the story goes like this. So the player from the LSO told my friend who told me that when he goes on holidays, let's say for a month or so, okay, he doesn't play at all because he's there to chill and to relax, right? But he only does this. Halfway throughout the holiday, so after two weeks or so, after two weeks of not having played, okay, what he does is he sits down and he plays for an hour, okay, in which he does fundamentals and he gets the sound back and he just basically refreshes the brain and tells the brain, hey, look, I'm, I still play, you know, percussion, okay, in our case, you know, the saxophone, and that's it. And then he goes on with his holidays and then he doesn't play again. That is enough to refresh your brain, to refresh your musical brain and to remind us that we actually play an instrument and it's not to lose the muscle memory and the chops that we have okay So for rhythm I like to use a really cool app called the Gap Click invented by the drummer Benny Greb. And what I do is I have a basic drum beat happening where I have eighth notes on one hand and quarter notes on the other hand beating on two and four, that's all, okay? While the metronome is only clicking on the first beat of the measure, okay? So it's one, two, three, four, one, two, three that's all okay and i like to see how accurate i am in actually coming down on the one that's amazing and it does so much for your brain and keeps it really really fresh musically speaking and also rhythmically speaking The other thing that you could do for sound and to expand your sound on the saxophone is something that actually made me think the other day. So like, okay, how can we apply the ocean sound to our body without the saxophone? Check it out. So the ocean sound, if you've been following me for a while, you know that it's this kind of sound. right? The more relaxed you are with your throat, with your body, then the more the more vibrant the sound on the saxophone will be, okay? So what can you do if you don't have a saxophone with you? Doing this is not enough. So what about if we just sing 
this kind of sound, okay, it's like an aww kind of thing, okay? And we try to feel the vibrations of the vocal cords and we try to feel our, our, our body opening, something like this. And if you put your hand in here at the base of your neck, it's basically almost where the collarbones, and they don't touch each other, but where the little hole is. And see how relaxed you can be and see how the sound flows out from here rather than from here. That's a really cool thing to do. Try it. Okay? And the other thing that you could do is you can do some basic breathing, okay? See how controlled your diaphragmatic breathing is. Do it on the floor, do it on the bed, do it on the sand, doesn't matter, okay? And see how well controlled your diaphragm breathing, diaphragmatic breathing is. I've done a video on an exercise that you can do on the floor, which I'm gonna link up here and also down here in the description that goes in detail on how to do it. Now, I want you to pretend there's a string attached to your belly button here. Okay, so when you inhale, someone is actually pulling that invisible string up, so this whole thing will actually come out. Okay, I'll do a few and you can do it with me whenever you want. Ready? So, think about the string, someone is pulling, and you inhale. And then you just release. That's fine. And then do it again. String, invisible string. Inhale, and then release, okay? This is really important to be aware of the diaphragm in this movement. I really wished I had done something like this back in the day, or at least that some teachers would actually have told me that, but it doesn't matter, okay? So be sure that you do something, musically speaking, when you're on holidays, if you want to, otherwise, just chill.